Magic of Math here, and today we're going to be talking volume of a cone. Here's our problem today. A cone and some of its dimensions are shown. And you're asked, what is the volume in cubic centimeters of the cone? I'm going to ask you to pause the video now, find the volume of the cone, and come back and hit play when you're ready. Welcome back. So again, just to verify, we're finding volume and we have a cone. Volume of a cone is equal to one third pi r squared h. So these are all being multiplied, one third times pi times r squared times h. And if we understand this, the volume is the air, one third the area of the base times the height. The area of the base of a cone is a circle. That's why we have pi r squared here. Also want to note that we have the height, which is right here, it's labeled. So we know that we're finding the area of our circular base and we're multiplying by the height and then multiplying by one third. Now we also look at our four answer choices and this is what we call in terms of pi, meaning we're not going to replace pi with a numerical value such as 3.14, we're going to leave it with the symbol pi. So again in math we call that in terms of pi. So we're not going to multiply by pi, we're going to leave the symbol in our answer. So let's begin by saying we know that we're going to bring down our one-third and our pi, but we have to identify what this r squared is. When we look at our circle, we have r is our radius. Your radius is half of your diameter. This is labeled the entire edge to edge of the circle. So that means it's the diameter is 10 and the radius would be 5. So we're going to say r squared is 5 squared and our height, h, is 18. So now we have all the values that we need. Now we need to evaluate this expression to find the volume. So again, we're going to bring down our 1 third times pi and we're going to do 5 squared. 5 squared is 5 times 5, which is 25, and multiply by 18. Now you don't even need a calculator for this. We're going to do 1 third of 8. 1 third of 8 is 6. And then 6 times 25 is 150, and we have our pi. So 150 pi is our volume, and that is answer choice B. Thanks for joining me today to determine the volume of the cone. One third the area of our circular base times the height. And that's the magic of math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you'll come back soon and have a great day.